Welcome back to All Things Ocean. I have returned to the scene of the crime today of the sand flea bites I got last summer. Suppose it's sand flea bites. It happened right here on this very beach. I did do a video on that recently and I'll put a link for it up here for you to check that out next. It is a sunny day. It's a little windy so if the noise is a bit loud on camera I apologize. And there's a plane going by. I'm in Point Roberts, Washington today and thought I would bring you guys along and show you around down here. It's a really small little place and I don't think a lot of people know about it. I mean the locals here do but for those that are further away probably have never maybe even heard of Point Roberts. It is completely isolated from the rest of the United States. It's actually not even attached to the rest of the United States. I'll throw a little map up here for you just so you can kind of see where it is on the map exactly. So just a quick history for you of Point Roberts. It was the late 1700s that a Spanish explorer by the name of Francisco de Eliza had actually discovered this area, but he mistook it to be an actual island. So it was about a year later that Captain George Vancouver was discovering the Gulf of Georgia behind me, that whole area back there. And he actually named this point to be Point Roberts. And he had named it after his friend and fellow explorer at the time, Henry Roberts. So I'm standing here at Lighthouse Marine Park. It's a little cold today, I'm not gonna lie. There is no lighthouse in this park. So I did a little research on this actually, and it turns out well over 100 years ago, there was always the intent of putting one here. It never got put up in 2000 there was a society that formed that had also intended on getting one here. It's still not here yet, but the Lighthouse Marine Park is a great place to see lots of marine life. There is a ton of whales and all sorts of marine life that pass by here all the time. It's a really good orca whale sighting area, so at least it does live up to that part of its name. I'm not going to talk too much about this video. It was more just to show you around the place. If you haven't been here and you haven't heard of it, I will give you a little tour around. We'll go to a couple of places and just show you the beauty of this little place called Point Roberts. So let's go. see the BC Ferries Terminal over there. That's actually in Tawasson in BC, just north of the border here in Point Roberts. And from there you can take a ferry all the way over this way, which will take you way over there to Vancouver Island. sign for Lighthouse Marine Park. Now I did mention that there is no lighthouse here at this park except for that's the extent of the lighthouse at Lighthouse Marine Park. <laughs>
area here is called Maple Beach here in Point Roberts. This is Boundary Bay, which is shared with Canada, and the border is actually not too far up the road, up this way over here. So I'm gonna head back towards the border now. Um, you can actually see the Lower Mainland way off in the distance. I don't know if you can see it, but it's over there. you guys hopefully you learned a little thing or two about Point Roberts Washington today if you've never been here before or never even heard of it it's a quaint little seaside town it's only about 1500 population or so roughly from what I read and in the summertime it does go up to three to four thousand because a lot of people do like coming here for the summer months because it's very coastal and it's very small and it's a really nice little place to get away so if you'd like to learn a little more about Point Roberts, I'll put some links in the description below. The U.S.-Canada border is actually right around the corner from here, so I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to head home. So hit that like button if you liked the video, share it with someone that you think might like it, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just make sure to hit that bell notification to get notified of new videos. Thank you for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.